Rick, it's my pleasure to congratulate you on being named uh, Atwater Lecturer. Um, it's a well-deserved honor, and I was very pleased to be one of the nominators for your award, uh, particularly since I've known you since you were a postdoc at the Monell uh, Chemical Sciences Center in the early 1980s, um, when I was uh, just a few blocks away at the Worcester Institute. Um, but we really got to work together uh, for eight years when you were one of the other associate editors at AJCN. And I really learned at that time you were a strong advocate for high standards in nutrition. And I want to also congratulate you on completing your year as president of ASN. Your service to the organization is really exemplary. So I'm looking forward to your talk and wish you all the best. Congratulations, Rick, on winning the Atwater Award. I know I speak for many of your former students when I say how wonderful it was to have you as a mentor, not just because you're an excellent scientist, but that because you're an inspiration uh, to the students you teach and the graduate students and the postdocs whom you kind of show the ropes of how to challenge the status quo and how to ask really great scientific questions. So you're certainly deserving of this award and we're really proud of you and I can't wait to continue to work with you for years to come. Rick, congratulations on the Atwater Award. It's well deserved. You've had an amazing career. It's been a real privilege for me to watch you succeed at Purdue for the last 26 years. And I look forward to many more years of great success. Well earned and good luck. Congratulations. Rick, from one Hoosier to another, it is a pleasure to be able to tell you how well I feel about you. Um, it is always a pleasure to salute my friend, Rick Madison, my fellow Hoosier. In fact, when I think about Rick, it is the word always that comes to my mind. Because Rick, you are always about the science. You always stick to the evidence. You are always ready to enjoy the wonder of science and discovery and figuring out scientific puzzles with colleagues. You are always ready to help a student. You are always ready to help a colleague and you're always ready to help a friend. Rick, thank you for all the good work you've done, for all you've done for the field, for all you've done for our students, our colleagues. Thank you for being such a good friend. Hi, Rick. Three cheers to you. What an amazing accomplishment. I'm so proud to have you as a colleague here at Purdue and as a mentor. Congratulations. Congratulations, Rick. Uh, this honor is really a great one, and I'm so proud to be able to uh, wish you well at it. As you know, I've always been a little bit uh, annoyed at uh, Purdue stealing you away from Monell. Uh, in fact, it was one of the worst uh, parts of my administrative life. I, I did my best to try to talk you out of it, um, but they offered you a great position. You went there, and you have been stupendously successful. Uh, and I congratulate you for that. And I, I, I just I hope that some of what we did at Monell uh, during your early career uh, was helpful in leading you to the great things you've done uh, following that. Uh, again, congratulations for this wonderful award and good luck and looking forward to all sorts of great things in the future from you. One of the great advantages of having a regular workout in your schedule is all the interesting and uh, nice people that you meet. And for many years, Dr. Rick Madison and I had lockers almost next to each other over in the co-rec and we had the same basic midday schedule. So I saw him hundreds of times. Uh, it took a while before I found out that he was not only a nice fella, but uh, one of the most uh, eminent scholars Purdue has. And now that's been reaffirmed again with his, uh, the conferral of the Atwater Prize on Rick. You know, Rick uh, uh, is in a long line now of Purdue experts in nutrition. Uh, there hasn't been a national set of guidelines probably in a long time that, uh, into which Purdue and Purdue people did not contribute. And Rick has now added a, an illustrious chapter to that great intellectual uh, history. So, Dr. Mattis, congratulations. Thank you for all you've meant to Purdue, including uh, the uh, leadership that created our a public health department, and most especially for this latest honor, yet again, you've brought great acclaim and recognition 
not just to yourself, but to all of us by extension. And uh, we're very proud and very grateful.